guys, it's MZ. I'm making a hopefully quick, but probably going to be super long video. Um, I'm trying to, I, I keep answering people's questions about air dry paint and I felt like a video would be a more cohesive way than to try to explain it all piece by piece, question by question. And a lot of it is just like, what exactly do you need? Um, I'm in the middle of painting a kit right now, so my workstation is kind of messy, but I can give a general overview. This is a Pebbles kit that I'm working on. All I've done is um, veining and blue undertones. But I'm not going to do a painting tutorial. I'm just going to do a supply explanation. So, of course, you've got your kit. Um, and I've got this drying rack here. I actually bought this from... Um, Madeline, um, baby dolls are my thing. I'm not entirely sure where she got it, but um, if you can't find a drying rack, here's another solution. I got all this stuff. Basically, you can get all this at a dollar store. Just like a heavy, like plastic or glass cup. Those um, like what do you call them? Those like gemstone things, and then use like unsharpened pencils or dowels. And stick them in and you can hang your your limbs and your head off these to dry just stick them in there so um this isn't going to be in any particular order i'm just like rambling here um i also like to have a color wheel handy um i took a lot of art courses in in high school and like studied the color wheel and stuff so using one comes naturally to me to try to figure out different colors and things, but this is really useful in reboarding. Like if you have a kit that's like a weird color and you need to neutralize it, you can go to here and, you know, say it's got like an, like an orange yellow tone to it and you're trying to neutralize it out, you would go across and then you know, okay, I've got to do a blue violet color wash to neutralize out the yellow orange you want to go opposite and this wheel's right I think I bought this wheel from Bountiful Baby but I'm not 100% sure or maybe I bought it at a craft store I'm not entirely sure but or it's also good to like even if it's not just the kit color like if you say you go too crazy on your blushing or something and they're and they're way too red and you're like oh I need to tone that down then you can look and see oh, okay I need to do a green wash to neutralize out some of the red. Yep, I'm saying. <laughs> so that's really helpful for that. Um, here I've got my sponges. I use cosmetic wedges mostly. I do have some little natural sea sponges in here too for modeling, or you can um, take tweezers and pull some holes out of the cosmetic wedge to make a modeling sponge. But most of these are just plain whatever. And I have, a, I have more back there that are clean. Also, um, I found these at the craft store, these little um, plastic pots with lids, so I can mix the paint in these, and then like if I, I'm going to come back and paint the next night, I don't have to dump it and start over again. I can just put the lid on, and it'll stay. Um, well, I think this one is old, so I need to wash this one out. But you get what I'm saying, like if you're going to be working on it for a couple days in a row, you can put the lids on, you know, your cats aren't going to drink it or something. <laughs> And it's not going to dry out, so you can keep using your same paint. I found these really useful. I think I bought them in an eight pack for just like a few dollars. So I use those to put my paint in, or you can use like glass dishes. I also have um, a tray like this. I like the sizes of these. It's, it's like a plastic muffin tin, basically. That would work too. Um, I was trying to find one of those with a lid. If anybody knows where I could find a a, a thing like this with a lid. I would like to know. Um, oh, and these are, I wanted to show these. I can't remember. I already forgot your name. I'm sorry, but I'm very tired. But um, she was asking me about sealers. So on the left, we have the matte sealer that I use. And on the right, we have the gloss sealer. So you want to do, after you're done all your painting with colors and stuff, you want to do your matte sealer. And then over top, you want to gloss like your, your nails and your lips and that sort of thing after. So those are those. Um, I have an excessive amount of brushes. You do not need anywhere near as many brushes as I have because I do other stuff so I like to have a lot of different brushes. 
but um, I think I showed these are like the brushes I'm always using like a big mop brush, a small mop brush, um, two flat brushes. The smaller one is really good for um, getting paint out of creases when it pulls in. Um, I just take that like swipe the paint out of the crease that's pooling and then wipe it on my little this is like a puppy pad they used to cover my table by the way that's really good for that and then I have a teeny tiny brush for doing veining and like detail stuff but um and you want to use too like I have a lot of these like crappy brushes for mixing paint or for like applying glue and things like that I have a toothbrush for um if I need to strip the kit, I'll use the toothbrush and um, it's called Winsor Newton Brush Cleaner. We'll remove the paint. Um, I have some more teeny tiny brushes here I haven't even taken out yet. I need to go through and get rid of some brushes because I have way too many. But yeah. Um, over here I have my paint rack. The vast majority of my paints are a folk art brand and I buy them at AC Moore or like a craft store or whatever. And I have them sorted. I have my like skin tones on top and then I have warm colors, cool colors, and then black, white, and gray. Or white, black, and gray, whatever they are. And I, I just, my brain works in rainbow order when I've got, if I've got paints, if I've got markers or those kind of things that are colored, I like to put them in rainbow order. You do not need anywhere near this many colors. <laughs> But I do alternatives, so I like to have a lot. Like, you could probably get away with, like, one or two skin tone colors. And then, like, a yellow, orange, red. Um, like, your basic colors. So, like, a yellow, orange, red, purple, blue, green. And then, like, white and black. You could get away with that. Now, cover your ears. It's going to squeak. Um, On the other side here, I have some of my, like more fantasy type paints. So I've got glittery paints. I've got like glow in the dark and neon and fluorescent and metallics and stuff. I think those are metallic. And then I've got, um, this you need to mix with every single layer, the uh, glass and tile medium. And I have an insane amount of bottles of them because it seems like my craft store doesn't stock them very often. So when they have them, I just buy them all because you go through it pretty fast because these bottles are small. Um, I have another different gloss varnish. I don't even think I've used it. Um, oh, I didn't even show in that bowl with my sponges. I have toothpicks in there too. Um, I actually paint um, nail tips with the toothpick. I don't use a, a brush. I have an awful time using a brush to do it. I also have my little Hello Kitty bow thing here. I have some Q-tips. Um, for... I don't know. <laughs> Anything. You could use it to paint stuff with. You can use it to get stuff out of the creases. Whatever you need. Let's see what else. What else? What else? Oh. Uh, distilled water. Over here. Ah. I have some more paint trays. I've got more toothbrushes for scrubbing stuff. I've got an old drying rack in there. Uh, cosmetic wedges. I have two different sizes. I have small ones and um, big ones. Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. That's more for like um, if I'm stripping a store-bought doll. That's good for that. Um, gloves because I'm allergic to everything. Um, and before you um, paint your kit at all, you want to wash it with Dawn. Don't get stuff inside the limbs and the head, just the outside. Wash it with Dawn, rinse it out, and let it dry completely before you paint. That'll help get any grease off and make sure that the paint sticks to the kit well. If after you wash it, it's still greasy, I would wash it again. You can even um, wash it with um, rubbing alcohol. Just make sure you wash it with soap and rinse off after. Don't leave rubbing alcohol on it and do not use acetone. Um, a lot of this other stuff I have in here doesn't even... Yeah, that's like a spray on mat for totally different stuff. I just had nowhere else to put it. I have um, baby shampoo and some conditioners um, for mohair, but I don't root my own hair. That's just for my dolls that I have that have hair. But I've got some other stuff in drawers here. Um, 
I've got more matte. I've got crackle medium. I don't really use that. Uh, more sponges. Um, I use these for paint sometimes or more often than not for like glue or gloss or matte varnish. Uh, I do have um, these like glossy accents and paper glaze, but I don't have very good luck with these. I'd rather just use like actual paint gloss. These tend to get sticky on me. I think it's the humidity where I live. There's um, rubbing alcohol. I have peroxide in here, but I'm not sure what I ever used that for in, in relation to <laughs> Reborn. I also tried uh, Mod Podge for gloss, but I had the same issue. Um, all this other just random stuff. This is the, um, to use the strip kits, is this. And actually, I found a big bottle, which I was thrilled to find, because it's pretty expensive, so, yeah. The rest of that's just, like, um, cloth body supplies and things. Um, that's, like, all your painting supplies, and I mean, um, I have other videos about, like, waiting and things. I've got to upload a video where I have, um... I have a bag that's like a waiting and assembling kit. It has all my supplies for that, so I'll try to upload that too so you can see that. But yeah, I hope I covered everything. It's so hard to remember because <laughs> it's quite a process. But um, yeah, I hope this was helpful. Feel free to ask me any questions. I am not a reborning expert. I'm more of a beginner. I've painted less than $15, probably closer to 10 So... I still have a lot to learn myself. If you see something I'm doing horribly wrong, please tell me, but, you know, we can all learn a little bit. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching.